to fire. Fire is very synonymous to rebirth. It's very life cycle-ish, you know. As horrific as fire is, the whole world has a huge rebirth after a fire. Things are refreshed. And that's wine. Wine, you go from harvest to fermentation to the bottle, and you do that year over year. So there's a natural evolution of life cycle or rebirth. Which is fire. Sometimes you just have to listen to the universe. It's 12 fires. Years ago, I was a small pup. My father turned to me and said, son, you're going to a and be in the Corps Cadets, and I'll pay for it. But you can go to any other college. I won't. But at that moment, my father knew that it would give me a stepping stone for the rest of my life. And I thank my father for that. Graduate high school in 1992, out of San Antonio, and I went to And I joined the Corps Cadets, and I joined Squadron 12, and I started off with 32 buddies. And at the end of my freshman year, I ended up with 12 buddies. We'll get to the 12 later. Got dragged out to Aggie Bonfire, and I saw the most beautiful journey of my life. And one of the traditions associated with this annual gathering of the Aggies and the Hordes is the big Aggie Bonfire. Really, this bonfire is just one big pep rally to get the Aggies even more fired up. For the game with TU each year, Aggies gather wood and timber to build a huge bonfire, which symbolizes the burning desire to beat the hell out of TU. Building a, a spirit of Aggie land. And through that journey, I met Mike Nance. Zach was one of our sons, as we called it. Red Pots, as we were called, coordinators of Aggie Bonfire. I was selected to be one of those coordinators. Mike Nance was as well. And that journey gave us a lot of understanding of sacrifice and work ethic and giving of yourself to something bigger than yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're just building a fire to beat another school, in this case, the University of Texas. But to watch 100,000 students build something bigger than themselves three to four months out of the year was a beautiful sight to see every single year. Universe Police, what's your emergency? The bonfire stack just collapsed. There are people trapped in it. Okay, we've got units on the way. Tonight, Texas is in mourning. In College Station, a huge pile of logs set up for the traditional bonfire collapse. At least eight students are dead. Tonight, they are still picking an enormous pile of logs apart in the hope that maybe a student under there is still alive. In 1999, the Aggie Bonfire fell, and 12 souls passed away. And many of them were our friends. In fact, one was my roommate and the Corps Cadets. He was, his name was Chris Breen. And he'd already graduated, and he was doing a, a tradition of passing down his pot at the top of Aggie Bonfire to the new generation. So when it fell, he passed away. 
So 12 was very important because 12 souls passed away that night. What better story is sacrifice of something bigger than themselves? Years later, I'm getting my Google on and I found this property open up. It was on the market for one day. And I called the owner up and uh, said, I'd like to see your property. So I drove out here, I walked the land, and I turned to him and said, I'll take it. And I get in the car and I'm driving back to Houston and I call Mike. I said, I bought some land. And he immediately goes, oh shit, are we really doing this? Prior to that, it was just ideas and concepts, but at that moment, it was real. We also reached out to another Aggie buddy, Zach, who helps us on the IT side. Zach immediately came out here, helped us with the, the land. So there we were, me, Mike, and Zach. Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell but Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hill so once Mike and I purchased land, and we sat down and started to whiteboard ideas or concepts of what we're doing out here, we had to come up with a name. And that was very hard to do. It's your branding, it's your identity, it's your everything. Especially in the world of wine. And we whiteboarded and argued but the number 12 and the word fire kept bubbling up. It's very important things in our lives. So when people come in and ask why 12 fires, sometimes we tell them about them. We bought 12 acres. I was scoring 12. We are Aggies. You got the 12th man. You got 12 bottles in a case. There's a lot of ways we can answer that. But the deep reality of it all is we're trying to build an ode to those 12 souls that sacrifice their lives to build something bigger than themselves. And it's hard to find something like that today. In today's world where people just sacrifice their time, their energy, to build something. In this case, for the spirit of Texas A&M and Aguilam. So it's 12 fires wine rain Keep your heart guarded or too soon it'll fall When one walks back home honey only one knows it all 